Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Moe Garcia with another Bible review for you here. We got this amazing study Bible and the ESV translation, the English Standard Version, uh, put out by Crossway in an amazing cowhide deep brown uh, color uh, that we have right here. And uh, it's um, a larger size than the ones that I have already reviewed in my channel. I will put a direct link to those in case you would like to watch them. And uh, it came in this uh, uh, very thick and sturdy uh, box. Um, was sent to me by Crossway in exchange of an honest review, and that's what I want to try to give you. There's a bit of uh, the primary features, and also about the, the translation itself, the ESV. And I'm uh, just going to open this up pretty quick. As you can see, it's just uh, a very big Bible, and uh, so it needs this kind of uh, box which I think is very uh, fitting for such a huge, humongous edition. So let's take a look at this. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is, is this amazing grain that is a, a brown, deep brown color of the cowhide has. Not only on the outer core, but I, if you can notice here, also the inner liner is also leather lined and uh, it's very grainy which is unusual, normally the liners are soft or smoothened out, not in this case, but I have to say I actually like it. Uh, it comes with perimeter stitching all around and uh, look at this. One, two, three and four huge raised hops, look at that. With the Study Bible ESV English Standard Version and Crossways logo down there in gold. Uh, I think that's very classy looking, very nice spine. Uh, you can see it's actually a thick Bible right here, but there's a reason for it. This because this edition has a 9 point font type size and uh, obviously that makes for a bigger, larger uh, uh, Bible. And the fact that this is a study Bible also makes it for a, a, a larger edition. Now, its measurements are 9.25 inches tall, 6.5 inches wide, and uh, it's around 2.5 inches thick. It comes with uh, a crossways pledge of their, you know, uh, guaranteed of behind this, this uh, edition, and it is a, a Bible guaranteed to last for as long as you use it, really. So that's a good thing to have. It comes with two uh, brown ribbons, uh, a little bit short, but not, not too short. Uh, they're only one-sided satin, uh, rather than both sides. I wish they would have put uh, at least a double-sided satin uh, ribbons to this, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, as I, I mentioned before, this a leather-lined edition, look how floppy and how uh, flexible this is. Now this is a, a nice uh, cut of leather, it's not too thin and it's not too thick either, it's kind of uh, in between, I like it. And as you can see this is uh, edge lined into the text block right here so that due to the fact that this is a, a very thick and heavy bible the cover will not break, will not split here after years of usage which again gives you confidence to, to, to purchase this edition. The end sheet is also brown and kind of matching the color of the liner, which I like. And as you can see, it's also gold gilded. Now it's pretty hefty, it's, it's heavy alright, uh, about 78 ounces and uh, I don't think you will be carrying this around but uh, it's great for its purpose which is a study uh, at home or, or in your office so I believe that fulfills uh, the purpose for it. 
Now, this edition uh, has sold over a million copies. This study Bible and, and is the winner of the ECPA Book of the Year. Uh, that goes to tell you that what you're getting is a very nice edition. This Bible comes with uh, 20,000 study uh, notes which are placed uh, down the bottom of each page regarding the text itself. Let's show you. So it's pretty uh, uh, full of uh, notes everywhere. Uh, it comes with uh, 200 plus charts, 50 plus articles and around 240 full color maps and illustrations of the likes of this. It comes with a concordance. The spine is the smite sun, which uh, basically means that all the pages are stitched to the back uh, of, the, of the Bible together so that they will not separate easily. One of the things that I like about this edition is the fact that the, the actual text is a nine point font, very readable. It's not that tiny font that basically strain your, strains your eyes after a little bit of uh, reading. And since this is a Bible meant to study, uh, you are probably going to spend a few hours at least reading from this. And uh, that font is going to help you to, uh, to do that without having a lot of trouble. Uh, it is line matched, which means that each line of the text is going to match the line on the other side of the of the page. Uh, again, helping for readability. The paper, as uh, you could imagine, is thin because otherwise this Bible will have become at least four inches thick. So it had to be thin, but amazingly opaque for the amount of text and ink used for this edition. Let me show you something, for example, here. Uh, here's a good example. You can, you, can, you can see this map, which is full color, uh, and right on the other side, you just have text, and you barely see uh, the colors of the map on the other side. Yeah, you can see a bit of a show uh, through right there, a little ghosting, but it doesn't bleed through it so much that the ink will actually uh, come out. Uh, if you are familiar with this edition, I'm not gonna go through every single area and every single article or every single, uh, because that will take us forever, but I just wanted to show you uh, that this indeed is a very readable edition of the ESV study Bible. It comes with all the bells and whistles of the other editions. This one comes with an excellent cover uh, that's gonna last you uh, all your life, basically, if you take care of it. It also comes with the references in the inner margins, which I prefer. I like that. I don't want those uh, uh, references on the outer margin. I think that's the wrong place for them. I think that's the best place. And uh, it's a single column, which uh, basically uh, means the text, the biblical text is going to come in one column, but the articles, introductions and so forth may come like this in a double column format. This is one example, Lamentations, we have one single column and then down the bottom uh, we were, we're going to find all the uh, commentary in two column format right there. Also, we're going to have the translator's notes on the bottom of the page, right on top of the commentary. And again, that is excellent. What I like a bit about these uh, editions by Crossway is how readable the font is. It's crisp, it's right in, to my, in my eye, is right it's not too bold, it's not too thin. It's the perfect medium, in my uh, opinion, uh, for it. And uh, you're gonna have plenty of historical resources here and commentary. Now, in fairness, I, I may not agree with every single one of those commentaries. Uh, we all have our own biases, our own theology, but it is overall an excellent edition and it, it comes with great helps. So use it, benefit from it, 
whatever you don't like leave it aside and uh, I believe that is the the whole purpose of study Bibles of the likes of this now I am not a huge study Bible fan I believe we should all do our own study and dig into the word but there's times where a little bit of help from others and even listen to other opinions that even you may disagree with is healthy it will enrich your life and you'll be able even to relate to others in a more effective way so don't let that detract you from getting this Bible uh, it is a black letter which means that here in the New Testament the text is gonna be black which I prefer I, I honestly uh, for a Bible that you're going to be using daily or for long, peri long periods of time, the red letter for some reason hurts my eyes. Uh, it actually stops me from actually using the Bible. I need to go and find one with black letter to continue. So red letter is okay to carry around, to read from it here and there a couple of minutes. Uh, that's fine. Maybe you don't have that problem. But I know for a fact that many people have problems with their eyes when they try to read a red letter, even if it's done well, even, even if it's dark enough for a long period of time. That's why I have concluded that for me, black letter should be the standard, not red letter. And since the whole Bible is important and the whole Bible is the Word of God, I really don't see the need to just focus on the words of Jesus while he was here on earth, since it is he who has been speaking from Genesis to Revelation throughout the whole Bible, not just when he was here on earth. So taking that in consideration, I understand uh, why some people may want to see where Jesus was speaking in the New Testament, I can see how that could be a bit of benefit for some. That's why I'm not against red letter, if you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's just a preference that for such a purpose of spending long periods of time studying like this study Bible, I think black letter is the way to go. So Crossway, I think, made the right decision for this edition and many others in their black letter options. I wish for each red letter you would have a black letter option, but that's not always the case, unfortunately. So right in the back, uh, after all this, we're going to have a lot of information, original languages, passages, uh, concordances, stuff that you may find absolutely beneficial to you. Uh, you have a concordance in three column format, very readable. I like it. So we got the maps, typical maps from Crossway in a, a kind of glossy, thicker uh, paper. I wish they would jump from this type of uh, glossy thick paper to the matte thicker paper rather than, you know, like a Bible paper but a thicker version of it um, instead of this glossy one. There's other Bible reviewers that agree on that, and I think they are right as well. There's nothing wrong with this, really. It's just a preference, if you know what I mean. So, at the end of this Bible, you're gonna have a couple of uh, blank cardstock pages, as you can see here. One, two, three, four, and then the back of it with this beautiful gorgeous cowhide liner you can see all the stitching around the perimeter and this beautiful brown color look at that so that's all for today I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick review hopefully it wasn't too long and uh, you have any questions please drop us a line down in the comment section and I will also put some direct links to this edition and others from Crossway that will help you to study the Bible in a more serious and deeper way don't forget to give some thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another Bible review or rebind until then Shalom